Now in this particular DTK bootstrap window, you can see all the three buttons, the minimize one, the maximize one and the close button. Now let's say you don't want the close button, you want to gray it out. So that's it's inactive. So you can do that uh, by using root dot resizable zero comma zero. Now we have made the maximize button inactive. So the, we cannot change the size of the window. If I run this thing, the maximize button will be grayed out. Also, you cannot change the uh, sides by dragging it. So all these things are disabled. Uh, now you can also make it disabled only in one direction. This is you're disabling it along the X and Y direction. That's how this works. So if I just enable the X axis, X axis by making it one. So if I run this one, we can only move along the X axis. So you can change it along this axis. That is the X one. You cannot drag along the Y axis. So you can also change it the other way where you make the X axis zero and the Y equal to one now you can only move it along the y axis like this x axis is disabled it will show like that but you cannot pull it so if you don't want this facility uh, just don't add this one you can just delete this one so sometimes you may have certain windows who you don't want to resize it so for that particular purpose you can use this one by setting the resizable equal to zero zero now on most of the time you don't need that uh, this is our website you can find all sort of embedded system tutorial and products from our website uh, we manufacture things like usb to serial converter uh, usb data acquisition systems and isolated usb serial things like this one so if you are interested you can check out our store and you can buy these things and help us to support us so we also have an online tutorial for example, TTK Bootstrap, this one. So you can check that one if you want to. All the code are available on our website. So the source codes are available here and you can go to our GitHub and download from here. So do check out our website and do check out our online store if you're interested in learning about Embedded Systems.